Last week, we brought you the first look at plans for the new developments at Tiger Stadium, and since then, it's had people buzzing in the neighborhood. It was so cool watching yeah. Jeff Vaughn reveal those pictures to people for the first time yes. in the city. And so I went back there today because after another new image leaked online, the plans look great, and it's leaving residents and businesses yearning for more. The vacant lot at Michigan and Trumbull has left residents feeling empty for a long time. Ill. It makes me feel ill. But brighter days could be coming. Last week, we shared the first look at a new plan for the site at Tiger Stadium. Since then, people in the neighborhood are on the edge of their seats waiting for news. I'm so happy that somebody's going to redevelop it. It's a vital part of our neighborhood, and it's been, um, you know, just a stronghold in my life. What do you think that would do for this neighborhood? That would be good around for the neighborhood over here. You know, if they bring back jobs and everything back over here for the community, it would be real nice. We've heard that maybe the parade company would get it or various de developers, but uh, we're excited to hear. I've been, like, by the TV all day trying to figure out who, who's going to get it. More new renderings have leaked online, showcasing an exterior view. The companies involved in the plan wouldn't comment, but what we've learned is the land would be split between residential and commercial use with the original field operated by Detroit's Police Athletic League. For years, talking to local business owners about new life at Tiger Stadium was like talking about Bigfoot or seeing a UFO. But now as each day passes, the opportunity for realistic business to go right here has them stirring with excitement. It would be great. You know, that's more people in town. That's more residents, more everything for everybody. I mean, you know, you've got new storefronts open up here every day. So storefronts need people living around them to service them, right? I think it would be great for our business. I really do. I think people would um, come in. We get a lot more walk-ins, you know, and people will come in and see what we have to offer. Until it happens, everyone is taking this with a grain of salt, but smiling knowing what could be. Whatever I hear out there, you know, I try to believe, you know, we'll see when they break ground what actually happens.